here is the easiest way to solve this Diophantine equation. All right, solution. Let's start from the right hand side. So from the right hand side of this equation, from the right hand side, we can see that 65 can be written as 81 minus 16. Do you agree? All right, so let's see. So 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 81 minus 16. All right, if you look very closely, you will see that 81 can be expressed as 9 squared minus uh, 4 squared. All right, but if you look on the, on the left hand side, we still don't have the form. What we have is 3 and 2. So let's see if we can write this um, as a base of 3 and as a base of 2. So we can write this again as 3 to the power of 2 squared, then minus 2 to the power of 2 squared. As you can see, we can write it in the form of the left hand side. All right, so on the right hand side, we get 2 times 2 gives us 4. So this becomes 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4. So by comparison the left and the right hand side, so what we say is comparing the left hand side and the right hand side, you could see that 3 to the power of m is equal to 3 to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of m is equal to 2 to the power of 4. 3 cancels 3. This gives us m is equal to 4. And 2 cancels 2. That also gives us m is equal to 4. So this is the easiest way to solve this Diophantine equation. Alright, so on the right hand side, you could do a quick check. By doing a quick check, you would see if your answer is correct. Alright, so 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m. When you fix m is equal to 4, we get 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4. Okay, 3 to the power of 4 gives us 81. 2 to the power of 4 gives us 16. All right, and when you subtract that, you get 65 as expected. All right, so this is how you solve this kind of problem. Okay, see you in the next one.